Does my mic sound nice? Check one, check two. It's your girl, Tanisha Latrice. Y'all welcome back to my channel. Let's get this party started. So y'all, I'm a little ways from my camera, so if I'm speaking too loud, forgive me. So let me start off by saying thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel. I have finally reached 100 subscribers. Yay! So I'm a little bit over 100, but thank y'all so much. I really appreciate appreciate you all watching my um, channel and supporting me. But without further ado, let's talk about love and hip hop, okay? So, first of, all, first of all, I didn't do a review on the very first episode, but we're going to do a combination of a review of the both of them, okay? And this is going to be a short video. Okay, so let's just go and jump on into it. Nico and Mimi. So, I would like to first say, y'all, come on. This freaking screenwriting play thing, whatever they got going on this season... Mimi, you are such a great actress, darling. Kudos to you. Because you're acting like you knew nothing about the actual sex tape. I don't believe that. What you probably need to do is get a new boo. Because Nico is full of it. Don't let that joker fool you. He knew about the sex tape. It wasn't nobody stealing a bag at the airport. That joker gave the sex tape to the people and offered them a deal. However, because you were in the video with him, he had to include you on it. So, you know, probably for lawsuit, copyright, whatever, whatever. So that's the reason why he included you in it. But nobody stole your bag. Nobody stole his bag. Nobody stole the tape. He handed it over to them for a profit. Because Nico is broke. Okay? Second thing, Jocelyn. Like I said, quick video. Jocelyn and Stevie, are they really married? Did they really tie the knot? Did he really put a ring on it? I don't know. Because, you know... You just never know with Stevie J. You never know with Jocelyn J. Or whatever her name is now. So, you know, I mean, if they got married, good. I'm happy for them. How long is it going to last? Who knows? You know, because Stevie be found a new boo thing with a butt bigger than some Jocelyn's with a face supposedly cuter than Jocelyn's. So, you just never know with Stevie. Um, also, Scrappy, he'll be back with Erica soon. Just wait and see. Okay, because he misses her. He loves her. I just wish that they would get it together because I think they make a cute couple. I don't know. Kind of been there, done that with that whole Erica and Scrappy thing and back and forth stuff. And that's just not always good. It's definitely not good for Imani. So I hope they can get their stuff together. Um, These new people that they got coming on Waka Flocka. I did not know that was Waka Flocka's mama. Did y'all know that? They look just alike. Woo! So... I can't wait to watch more of that to see what's going to go on with Waka Flocka. Don't know what's going on with Carly and J uh, Young Jock. That is such an odd couple. So, um, anyway, you all leave comments and descriptions. There's comments in the description box or comments in the comment box or whatever. Let me know what y'all think about this love and hip hop stuff, honey. This stuff is getting crucial, okay? And I'm really not a reality TV type chick. I really don't watch a lot of them. But, I don't know, I just love, love hip hop, honey. I'm sorry. I love it. I love Stevie J. I love all this drama and all this bull crap. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. Thank you all for watching my ch channel. Thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Um, I've been really busy. I'm in school. That's why I haven't been doing as many videos as I need to or like to. But they're going to be coming soon, okay, y'all? All right? So, without further ado, thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Remember, stay sharp. Have a wonderful I know this when I get it on it. Look how you get me high, high as a kite. See, I like it when you.